You're boarding your flight. You toss your bag into the overhead bin, buckle your seatbelt, and do the classic glance toward the cockpit. And it's empty. No pilot, no co-pilot, just a softly humming screen and a voice that says, Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Algorithm. Please enjoy your flight. Comforting, right? Welcome to Imagine This, the channel where we explore science-based what-if scenarios that toe the line between fascinating and mildly unsettling. Today's question, what if all commercial flights were piloted by AI? So here's the twist. Commercial flights today are already flying on autopilot for the majority of the trip. Cruising altitude, managed by software. Landing in fog, handled by computers. The pilots are still there, of course, but in many cases, they're supervising more than steering. In fact, the average flight might only involve about seven minutes of actual manual flying. The rest, autopilot. So yeah, the robots are already halfway there. They just haven't asked for a raise yet. Now let's talk perks. AI doesn't need rest. It doesn't get jet lag. It doesn't get distracted by text, turbulence, or even toddler tantrums in row 18. It can analyze massive amounts of data in real time, adjusting flight paths, dodging storms, and saving fuel with ruthless efficiency. And yes, it can even land smoother than that one pilot who thinks touchdown means slam and pray. Plus, removing pilot error, which causes most aviation accidents, could, in theory, make flying safer than ever. But, there's always a but, isn't there? What happens when something weird happens? Like unexpected icing, sensor failure, or a flamingo migration that clearly didn't follow a flight plan? AI is excellent at patterns, but throw it something it hasn't seen before, something off script, and suddenly the smartest computer in the sky is asking, please define flamingo swarm. And don't forget, machines can be hacked. A pilot might misread a gauge, but a hacker could mislead an entire fleet. Also, let's be honest, we've all had moments where Siri misunderstands call mom as play K-pop. Now imagine that, but at 35,000 feet. The future probably won't arrive all at once. We're more likely to see a phase where AI is flying, but humans are still monitoring. Some airlines are already testing reduced crew flights, one pilot in the cockpit, one AI on deck, and a support team on the ground, ready to jump in like NASA mission control. It's like giving your car cruise control, but still keeping your hands nearby, just in case that exit sneaks up on you. Now here's the real question. Even if the tech can fly the plane, would people trust it? Flying has always involved a bit of blind faith. In physics, in engineering, and some person named Dave sitting behind the cockpit door. But replacing Captain Dave with Captain Data is a psychological leap. And let's be real, when turbulence hits, would you rather hear, this is your pilot speaking, or... Adjusting parameters. Please remain seated. Here's something wild. In 1983, an Air Canada flight ran out of fuel mid-air. The pilot literally glided the plane, like a giant paper airplane, to a safe landing on an abandoned airstrip. Would AI have pulled that off? Or would it just say? Flight path not found. Shutting down. So what if all commercial flights were piloted by AI? Flights might be safer, cheaper, more efficient. But flying has never been just about logic. It's about comfort, trust, and believing someone up front has your back, especially when things go sideways. Are we ready to hand over the skies to software? Thanks for cruising with Imagine This. Hit subscribe for more what if scenarios that ask big questions and gently mess with your sense of security.